guys, what's up? Pokemon Expert Emerald, video number 57. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I know I said on Tuesday I would upload a video on Wednesday and then I never did, so I'm sorry about that. But I found myself with some time today, so I'm going to upload a video today, Friday, which is awesome sauce. So, in the last video we went down Route 124, and I didn't realize it um, when I stopped here at this little house, but... Um, we basically finished Route 124. See, now we're, like, technically in Moss Deep City. Um, although, I am going to, um, kind of skip Moss Deep City. I'm not going to quite do that just yet. I'm going to go straight to Route 125. I am just going to run up here to, uh, heal my Pokemon. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Um, who is that guy on the left? He looks like he should be someone. I don't know. I'm not going to talk to him yet. I'll talk to him when I actually do my Moss Deep City video. Which will be, like, next week. Next Monday, probably. Yeah. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about. You know, I said in the last video that I'm, I'm going to kind of cut back on how frequent I upload videos. Um, so, another thing that that kind of affects is I know I mentioned a while back that I was thinking about starting a second channel where I would do uh, non-Pokemon games. Um, that is pretty much, that idea is pretty much kaput now. Um, you know, I've <laughs> the reason I'm cutting back videos on this channel is because I don't have enough time to, you know, do this and everything I need to do. So, you know, if I don't have enough time for, you know, uploading on this channel, I definitely wouldn't have enough time if I started a new channel. So, um... Yeah, that there's that. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this channel. Um, I my goal for this LP is to finish by mid September. Um, I think if I keep doing like the three video a week thing, that I should actually finish by then because. Well, wait a minute, September is next month, isn't it? Damn, I meant mid-October. I was like, wait a minute, mid-September, we're already like almost at the end of August. Mid-October is what I meant. I want to kind of be done with this like a, f a full month before um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire come out. That's my goal, to be done with this and give myself like a month uh, before I start Omega, before I start Alpha Sapphire. So far, it's still going to be Alpha Sapphire. Um... I haven't seen anything, any new news come out that has, you know, kind of pointed me in the other direction. So, so far I am still doing um, Alpha Sapphire uh, come November. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything between this and Alpha Sapphire, even though I will probably finish this LP, you know, pretty good amount of time before Alpha Sapphire comes out. <clears throat> I promise this won't be like Volt White 2 where it took me like a year to finish that one. But yeah. Um, let's see, while I'm looking at this video, I'm gonna go and look at video number 56 there on YouTube and take a look at what you guys said. Um, I asked you guys question of the day in video 56, what Pokemon do you think should be a certain type but isn't? And I gave the example that I always thought Golduck should be a water psychic, but it's just water. Um, so, um, the two people who answered, Uzumaki Minma, Shrey and Roy, both agree that, you know, that Golduck, Psyduck should be water psychic. Uzumaki Minma thinks that Keldeo should have been either water or ice, or, or water slash ice, or water slash fairy, and Meloetta could just be a pure psychic type. What is Meloetta? Because I thought it was a pure psychic type. Is it psychic fairy? Maybe it is now. Um, Shranroy uh, said that Charizard, even without the Mega Stone, should have still been a dragon slash fire type, and Rayquaza should have been a dragon slash steel type. So yeah, those were um, your guys' answers, and you know I'll ask a question in uh, in this video, and um, you know see what you guys have to say. I actually already know what I'm going to ask, actually. Um, <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, you've heard me talk about this game I'm playing on my iPad right now, the, the Hobbit Kingdoms of Middle-Earth. 
I've been playing that a lot, and I just kind of started a new city. So I want to... Oh, what's this? I'm actually playing it right now. <laughs> so I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite, like, like, game to play, like, on your phone or tablet? Like, you know, what, what game are you playing right now? Um, answer in the comments, and I'll go over those in the next video. Mine right now is The Hobbit. I was playing that Farmville game, um a while back but yeah, that that game just kind of consumed me and <laughs> I had to stop <clears throat> this Hobbit game doesn't really consume me that much I mean I play it a lot but like not as much as I did the farm bill that was like yeah I was like losing sleep over that game I would like look at the clock like oh my god it's like 5 in the morning <laughs> I had to quit <laughs> for my own like well-being. Let's see, is there anything up there? Oh, no, there isn't. We'll battle these two people now. But yeah, um I think mid-October is a good um reasonable, you know, time frame for me to finish this game because like I said once you fin once you battle the elite four here there's really not much else to do and um, you know I've already um, you know I'm, I'm almost at the seventh gym so um, I'll, I'll actually go ahead and tell you guys the next video I'm going to uh, just like explore Moss Deep City so it's going to be a short video, like a really short video. Um, the next video. I might actually just try and do that today. If I have time after this one. And then uh, the video after that will actually be the one where I take on the gem. So. Yep. I'll be taking on the gem. And um, I'm going to ask you guys the same thing I asked you, you know, back when I battled Winona. Um, as of now, I am 3-3 three and three as far as defeating the gems the first time. Um, I defeated Roxanne, Flannery, and Winona the, the first time. Um, but, um, I lost to, uh, Brawley and Watson and Norman when I battled them the first time. So I'm 3-3 three and three as of right now. So, I, I want to ask you guys, as like the secondary question of the day, um, I'm going to battle Tate and Liza here in a couple videos, so how do you think I will do? Do you think I will win, or do you think, do you think I'll win on the first try, or do you think I will lose on the first try and have to, you know, beef up my team a little bit? Um, what do you guys think? Answer in the comments. I want to see what you guys think. I want to see what you guys think of my Pokemon battling skills. Like, oh, Sword of is going to get his butt handed to him, or oh, Sir Noctowl is gonna like, stomp all over Tate and Liza. You know, I wanna, I wanna know what you guys think. See see what you guys think. I actually know, already. Cause, uh, yesterday I played a little bit further <coughs> actually, that was, that was the last I played up to. I played up to that battle where I battled Tate and Liza for the first time. So, how do you guys think that battle will end up? <clears throat> I want to know what you guys think. For alligator is hurt by the poison. <sighs> well done, troll. And troll is kind of low on on health, so we're gonna take him out and send out Mroka. Roka, I'm thinking, will come in handy in the uh, gym battle. I'm just throwing that out there. I, th I think Roka will come in handy in that gym battle, you know, being a dark type and all. But, you know, it's taking like, you know, 58 Giga Dreams to knock this Blastoise out. Is it just me, or did his Ice Punch do more damage than my Giga Drain? I mean, I know Giga Drain isn't like the... 
strongest grass type move out there. I mean, it's the strongest like HP stealing grass type move out there, I think. But if you want like just good grass type moves, you know, Noka's got that leaf blade though. You know, I guess I could. No, I don't think Noka can learn Frenzy Plant, can it? Only Butters can learn Frenzy Plant. Um, leaf Storm. I wonder if you can learn Leaf Storm. That's the one that, uh, when you use it, it makes your uh, special attack go down, which kind of sucks. For uh, especially for Pokemon like whoa, especially for a Pokemon like Noka, who's um, you know basically entire move set is special attacks. Now, if this were a Gen 4 game, that Giga Drain would be his only special attack because Leaf Blade and Crunch are, are physical attacks, you know, uh, Gen 4 and uh, forward. What is that noise? Is that my microphone or is that the, like, the video, like, audio? I don't know. You guys probably can't hear it. Like, what the hell is he talking about? Th they're right there. Did you hear that? That little bar. Did you hear that? Please tell me you heard that. Did I like pull the microphone out of the microphone jack or something? Is that what's going on? Or is it my headphones? I don't know. It's not that bad. Um. trying to see if it'll happen again. I don't know, I'm, I'm just like being weird. You guys are like, oh my god, what is he doing? You guys probably think I'm going nuts. Oh, Kingdra is confuzzled. Troll, you sludge bomb. Yours. Well done, troll. Oh, that was a big one. Let me try that again. Well done, troll. I see it didn't happen that time. Huh. You guys probably aren't hearing it and just like, shut up, Sir Nocdal. Okay, I'll shut up about it. Unless it just gets like really bad. Alright, so Troll defeated the uh, Kingdra. So I guess I'll put Godwin back up front. You guys remember in the last video I had Godwin up front for a while, but he wasn't doing so good against all these water types. So I... I uh, put Troll up front instead. Anyway, I got lucky here and ran into a bird keeper, so um, I will have Godwin use Roll Out. Yeah, I could just have him use like Ice Beam and, you know, totally destroy this Murkrow, but I'm gonna, you know, make it a little bit challenging for myself. And then that way, when he sends out his next Pokemon, I'll just be like, wah! But, of course, the rollout missed. Oh, his next Pokemon is a Fearow. So I just went for the Ice Beam there, thinking that that guy would heal his Markra like it seems like all these Pokemon trainers do, but he didn't. So, uh, he's going to send out Fearow, and, um, uh, okay. He's going to send out Fearow, and Ice Beam does the trick. I think it is my microphone. I don't know. We'll battle this guy now. See, if you come up between them, you end up battling them in a double battle, which... As you guys know, I, I usually try to avoid. <sighs> I won't be able to avoid it, though, when I battle Tate and Liza, because you have to battle those two in a double battle. And I'll, I think all their trainers in the gym are set up, like, well, I know they're all set up, um, like, to battle them in double battles. Uh, so I'm going to have to try and find a way around that, too. Oh, <laughs> that's funny, because remember that guy on the other side was like, oh, I put a bottle in the sea to see who would get it. And then the other guy was like, oh, someone put a bottle in the sea. That angers me. 
Oh, that's funny. Okay, so I think that's everyone. Um, I think that is everyone here on this here route, such and such route 125. Did I battle you? Moss Deep City. Okay, don't need to come down this far. Um, so I guess the next thing to do is go in here. Um, I wasn't sure how long this would take, so I saved the game right here in case I needed to split up the video. This would be a good place to do it. But, um, as you can see, it did not take too long to go through this cave. Um, you know, I'm not too familiar with these games. I've played them, but I, I, I don't really remember them that well. And I didn't know if there were, like, trainers in here I would, like, you know, have to battle and stuff, so. Um, yeah. But apparently there aren't, so that's good. Uh, so let's see what's up here. So he's like, oh, find, like, the, the shoal salt and the shoal crap. So that's what we're doing. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a cave door up there. So this is probably like where I continue on deeper into the cave. So I'm actually going to go this way just to make sure I can explore like this whole area. Um, that door right there is probably where I exit said deeper part of the cave. So I'm going to go this way. So, um, this cave like changes from time to time depending on the tide. Um, right now it's at high tide, so there's a bunch of water in the cave. Um, so I'm finding these like shoal salts. Now there's a shoal something else that you can find in here when the when it's at low tide and you can actually like walk through the cave instead of surfing um oh shoal shell so I guess it's when you find this the salt that it's at low tide and then if you take all the shells and all the salts back to that guy up front he'll give you a shell bell which basically you just give to a Pokemon to make it more friendly towards you but at this point in the game you know that's not really gonna do you much good unless you're you know, working on, like, you know, breeding up Pokemon, like, just for, like, purposes of catching and evolving them. I mean, because by now, you probably have, you know, if you don't have your whole team by now, you're probably just, like, one Pokemon away from having it, I would think. So I think we got all of the shells we could get, so we're going to go out this way and... Oh, it's a big pearl. So that was easy. That was uh, not too too bad. Yeah, so I have to bring in four of each. Okay, I was just going back in there to see if like the tide would change, but apparently not. Alright, so I guess at this point I'm going to head back to uh, Miles Deep City. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Next video we'll explore Miles Deep. I might try and just go ahead and do that video right now. Uh, like I said, it's a really short video. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, answer uh, what's your favorite phone, tablet, game, and how you think I'll do at the gym. Bye.